Children's time, children's time. Gather round, gather round. Listening, thinking, praying. Listening, thinking, praying. Every day, every day. Hello, friends. We're back together. Yes, it's Cindy. I'm here again with you. I bet some of you are getting really good at the children's time song that I made up, aren't you? Are you getting the words? Are you able to sing along with me? I hope you are. That would make my heart very happy. Well, I bet you maybe noticed already that, <laughs> yes, I brought an apple again, but I'm not doing the same lesson as last week. Yes, I have an apple here. Let's look at, oh, beautiful apple. Oh, it smells delicious. Now, what do I have here, friends? That's right, I have a pear. I brought a pear. Mmm, it smells good too. And oh, it's so beautiful. All right, what do I have here? Can you see those? Ah, <gasps> you got it, grapes. I brought these beautiful, lovely grapes. Huh. What do I have here? Yeah, it's a banana. Ugh, that one's not looking very good, is it? No. Hmm, I think about that. Now, you know, when my kids were little, and I don't know if Sesame Street still sings this song, but there was a little song and it went like this. So one, two, three, four things. Now, be careful here. When I sing it, it's about three of these things go together because there's a little trick to it that's going to help you answer the next question I'm going to ask you. Okay, are you ready? Look at these four things here. Three of these things belong together. Three of these things are kind of the same. One of these things just doesn't belong. Do you got it? <gasps> I didn't trick you. Oh, I thought I might. I thought you might say to me, Cindy, they all go together because they're all fruits. But I didn't trick you. You knew these three, the grapes, the apple, and the pear go together because they're all beautiful and they're fresh and they were picked just at the right time. But you knew that this banana that was on my church sister's counter, on Connie's counter, yeah, it's kind of icky. It kind of is soft. It's kind of rotten, and no one would really enjoy this banana, would they? And, and it wouldn't make them happy to eat it. Like, I love fruit. These would make me happy, but this one would not. Well, did you know that people can be like this fruit? It's true. Now, Jesus tells us, he actually told us, in Matthew today, in the book of Matthew that Jim read to us and that Pastor Sue just talked about, he told us to go out as disciples. Now, let's think back because we studied that a while back. I'll get out my notes here. Disciples, remember, that's when you're a follower or a student of Jesus, which we all are. And we follow him and we learn from Jesus and from the word that Jesus gave us in the Bible, a disciple. And so Jim read to us, and Pastor Sue just talked about, that Jesus said to those disciples, so he said to us, the harvest is huge. Now, a harvest is a season. It's a time when you gather the fruits, you gather the crops. It's the right time to bring them in. So he's saying it's huge. The harvest of people is huge. And he's saying to his disciples that there are many people out there who have not heard the word of God. And so you and I, no matter how old we are, we're always disciples of God. We need to go out and we need to help people to learn the word of God. And he says here, that he wants to send all of us out. He wants us to be workers in the world. Now, did you know that when Jesus said that, that's no different than today. We all need to go out, and we need to be workers 
for Jesus. We need to go out and we need to tell people about the Word of God, about the love of God, about how we can make a mistake. We could get icky in our hearts sometimes, or maybe the things we think, they're kind of icky, or they're a mistake, or we shouldn't say something. But God's going to forgive us, and he's going to love us, and we're going to be a beautiful piece of fruit in God's eyes when we do that. Now, friends, there's also some other good news about this. Jesus doesn't just look for certain kinds of people that look a certain way or that are a certain height or that know how to do certain things. And he wants us to not do that either. Jesus looks for all the people, any age, any height, any, uh, we're all so different, any gifts that we have. Jesus wants all of us to come to him. And he wants all of us to know his words. And he wants you and I that already have faith, that already believe in Jesus and know that Jesus is in our hearts and taking care of us, he wants us to tell others about that or to show others how happy we are about that in our lives. And we can do that with our actions. We can do that. You know how I love to smile. We can do that with a smile. Now, I know now that's a little hard when we're wearing masks. Like, this always just makes me laugh now when I'm in the grocery store and I got my cart and I'm going by someone and then, like, I smile at them and I think, well, I don't even think they know I'm smiling because I have the mask on. It's covering. But you know what? They're going to see that smile in your eyes. Or maybe you walk by someone and you're walking your dog and they're walking their dog and you... You know that you've got to stay by your mom or dad, but you can still kind of go a little wave, kind of a high, and that makes someone's heart feel very happy. Now, maybe during this time, mom or dad, you have some friends that, that it's a safe place for these germs and you can go there and play with that friend. And you could help by, you might notice they need to pick up the toys and you can do that. That's showing that you're a helper. And God wants us to be a helper. Maybe you could give a compliment to someone. I'm thinking about how last Saturday um, I saw my church friend Ty, and he was on his scooter. And after he zoomed by, I was, like, so impressed the way he was able to ride it. And I said to him, wow, you're really good on that scooter. You have great balance. I gave him a compliment. And I know that made him feel good because he like smiled and he kind of lifted his shoulders. He felt so happy. That's something that you can do too, friends. So I want us this week to go out and we're going to be fruit pickers. We're going to harvest and we're going to find ways to show others the joy that we have because we believe in God and we know the word of God and we want to share it with other people. So, we've got a little prayer now that we're going to say. Alrighty, are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to say it. I want you to say it after me. And I'm going to use the sign language of thank you. Thank you. And I'd like you to do that with me. Alright? Here we go. And I'm going to kind of hold my hands like this today for prayer position. You can do this. You might want to do this. Here we go. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word, the Bible. The Bible. Please show us ways that we can share the good news of Jesus. Your turn. Please show us ways that we can share the good news of Jesus. Show us ways that we can love each other. Remember how we tried to make hearts with our hands? Show us ways that we can love each other. Thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for your love, Lord. We love you, God. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
See you next time, friends. Be a harvester this week.